welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty welcome back to the cosmic royal family i hope that you guys are doing amazing for those of you guys that are new here welcome for those of you guys that are returning welcome back it is always always a pleasure to have you guys here okay so <clears throat> Y'all, I got my website redone. Thanks to my girl, Ashley. She really did her thing, all right? I'm talking about colors popping, vibes popping, energy popping. Y'all, make sure y'all check it out. If any of you guys are interested in getting your website revamped or you need a website built from the ground up, make sure you guys check her out. Here's her Instagram information. Make sure that you follow her. Um, let her know that Mystic sent you guys, all right? Um, you won't be disappointed. All right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, this message, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this message. So the Holy Spirit told me that you guys were sent to this person to humble them. <clears throat> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm kind of getting this energy of someone who's very arrogant, very boastful um very prideful type of energy here and i feel like because you are a divine energy um a lot of you guys may resonate with being chosen you know a lot of times you're placed on people's path to humble them you know and not like in a cruel way but just literally being yourself is a very humble and ex humbling experience to a lot of people collective <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into this energy and let's see who is this person that that God sent to humble? Who needed to be humble? Who had to cross paths with the divine one? Right? Who needed to be humble? <clears throat> also, you guys, I'm almost done with this last round of money oils. And after I'm done, I'll be restocking you guys but i have to make sure that i restock inventory everything like that thank you to everyone who purchased my never broke again money oil you guys we have like over a hundred and something positive reviews um you guys just manifesting money left and right on the website make sure y'all go check out the reviews you know don't take my word for it go and check out all of your other soul family members testimonies on my website right so <clears throat> all right holy spirit who is this person that needed humbling that my collective uh was sent to humble them this is somebody who i'm hearing that they are they focus a lot on success and growth like it, they're very focused on or they always focus on the material world tell me more about this person holy spirit maybe y'all thought that um you try to grow with this person you try to offer this person love but i don't know this person focuses more on money success um you know things like that how they appear to the world right superficial things materialistic this is this is someone who's very materialistic and this person they was not focused on love they put love on the back burner right and I just feel like God had to do something about that. Tell me more. So this person's less focused on love, um, more focused on the material world. Who is this person? <clears throat> wow, this is somebody that's about to reach out to you. Yeah, this, this person is about to reach out to you guys, collective. Um, this is somebody that kind of left you guys waiting. They left you hanging. Or you've been waiting for this person for a while. I don't know why I feel like this person need a handout. It's something about this person may need a handout. Or this person want to offer some type of an assistance to you. This person want to bring balance to the situation. They want to bring balance to you. Tell me more Holy Spirit. I feel like there was multiple hands in the pot. There were multiple energies external to you that kept this person in this karmic energy here. So this person may have a slew of karmic friends and family, right? Who never encouraged them to be better, never encouraged them to grow. Yeah, what is this Holy Spirit? 
Yeah, this was this person was very stubborn. They they refused to change their focus. It's like God was trying to get this person to change their focus off of just money, money, money all the time, status, status, status all the time, and focus on healing. I'm hearing like heart healing, right? Healing their heart. Um, focus on love. This person, a part of their purpose and destiny here is that they have to have uh, love in their life. This person needs to heal. Something dealing with love and how they view love and how they receive love needs to be healed. <clears throat> this person was refusing to go within. And I feel like you guys are a dream come true to this person. You were sent um, not only to humble them, but to change their perspective, change their view on how they view love. I feel like this person could have experienced some type of trauma early on in their life. And, you know, they they were just closed off to love and they just kind of put all of their energy and their focus on the material world. Something that they felt like they can control, right? You know, I feel like you are a dream come true to this person, um, Collective. Yeah, this person could have manifested you guys. They manifested this lesson. You are definitely a lesson to them. Yeah, you your presence in this person's life is forcing them forcing them to face their shadow side. They need to confront something. If they want this with you, if this is a love situation or if this is a friendship or a partnership, if they want this connection with you, they're going to have to confront their 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 childhood trauma. They're going to have to confront their also their shadow side, their dark side. This person is now realizing that maybe they did manifest you. You are a teacher. And a lot of you guys, you're powerful manifestors as well. I feel like you may be more powerful than this person as far as manifesting is concerned. I see that you are a teacher here. So you are placing this person's path to teach them spiritual lessons. To teach them how to heal. To teach them how to recognize and receive unconditional love and God's love when they see it. Look, uh, seek the truth. So you guys are the truth. This person, in order for them to find the truth, they have to seek you. So this is somebody that's going to be returning back to you, like I said, to balance the situation out. You guys could share the same soul with this person. This could be like a divine partnership or something like that. But this person really needed to <clears throat> go within. This person was running from themselves. This is a magician energy here. This person may be good at uh, manifesting material things, but I'm hearing that they suck at love or they, they don't know how to treat people. They just close love and anything dealing with the emotions, they close it off. This person's solar plexus may be blocked. Their third eye is blocked. Both of these are here in reverse. But you guys are teaching this person how to manifest. How to um, heal. You're teaching this person. Look, y'all see this man with his hand over his heart? This is a masculine energy here or a feminine, depending on who you're dealing with, that's going to be extending an offer of a new beginning with the, butter, with the butterfly after healing. This person needed help healing their heart chakra. I feel like if this person has a son, like, I don't know, that was like an energy of maybe they were raised by like a toxic masculine energy. They're supposed to be a teacher. This person is supposed to be a leader. They're supposed to heal so that they could actually break some type of generational curse off of the men in their family so that they can be a better um, father figure to, to their boys if they have boys or daughters if they have daughters. But I'm hearing through you, a bond will be strengthened. So if this person, if this is a masculine and they have a son, through com coming into contact with you, meeting you, crossing paths with you, a bond is going to be strengthened with their son. Somebody's going to reunite with their son. For some of y'all, I'm hearing you spoke with this person about a relationship with their, with their kids or their son or something like that. Yeah, and this person is going to be make, taking some type of step to come towards you and speak some type of truth. You kind of help this person out. You assisted them with the affairs of their heart. What is this? Yeah, daydreaming indecision. This person had a blocked base chakra. 
I'm hearing this person could have been overactive sexually or something like that. Tell me more about this person. <clears throat> what role did my collective play in humbling this person? And this person didn't feel like people like you existed. They felt like you were too good to be true collective. I'm hearing it was just a humbling experience. To, like I'm hearing to meet you, to cross paths with you. This person is privileged or grateful to even know you, I'm hearing. But I, I just got this feeling that this person didn't treat you right. And this was unexpected. Yeah, this person, there, there, there's grief and there's loss over an unexpected ending or you guys finally pulling your energy back from this person. See, I'm hearing nobody has ever walked away from this person the way that you did. And you have an energy that this person need. They need this. This is also humbling for them. This is somebody who they get a kick out of people chasing them. But because you're not chasing this person, you're standing firm in your energy and your divinity. You know, um, you know exactly who you are. And you don't have to chase anybody. You've already overextended. You did what you were supposed to do. Whatever you were spiritually contracted to do for this person collective, you did that. If that meant giving your love to this person, even for, you know, the temporary time that you did, even though they rejected it, you did what you were supposed to do. But you offering your love, your time, your effort, and your energy is helping this person tap into their own energy, their own divinity. It's, it's forcing this person to um, confront their shadow side, go back to the root of the, of the issues in their life. If whether it was paternal or maternal ener um, energies or issues, right? This person was struggling to wrap up a karmic lesson due to some type of an illusion. This person just simply being lost on their journey. So most high sent you guys to get them together. You have to get this person all the way together. <laughs> For real. This person needed to like be mindful how they treat people because you never know. You may meet an angel, right? You may cross paths with a real angelic energy. Someone that was sent in your life to bless you. To be of assistance and a service to you. To help all of your dreams come true. Right? Being a dream come true. Being a dream come true within themselves for you. And this person kind of turned their back on you. Choosing a more superficial path I'm hearing. Well, that God knew this person was going to do that. God knew this person was going to do that. They always do that. But it's kind of like you were the last straw. This person's craziness, they're misbehaving, this person being disobedient to God, um, dogging people out, all that ends with you guys collective because you are so close to God, because God holds you so near and dear, you know? That ends with you. God knew what this person was going to do. So this person could have been a pretender, yeah, this person wasn't being their, their real, genuine, authentic self. So when you met them, this person was like wearing a mask or facade. You know, this person had a very ugly side of themselves that did not come out until later on. God already knew this. It's like you were literally sent on this spiritual mission, okay? You were assigned to this person. You were. God sent you to get this person together, for real. Yeah, it was unrequited. It was like one-sided. This person kind of allowed you guys to put all the work in. They were very selfish. Very selfish energy here. They only focus on themselves. This person may also struggle from some mental health issues as well. <clears throat> I'm hearing you. This person say you, you make all their dreams come true. But because you guys are in the energy of just letting the situation be, not chasing this person, not pursuing this person, giving this person time, space, giving them the time and the space and the opportunity to actually confront their, their shadows, look at themselves for who they truly are, the role that they played in this, not only how they treated you guys collective, but like how they've treated so many people before you. This is helping this person transform. This is helping them to heal. This was a part of the divine mission and the divine plan the whole time. You know, yeah, you and this person taking some type of pause. Wow, nobody ever, ever, ever um, fully pulled back from this person. This was, this was humbling to this person. Nobody ever had the self-love or the self-respect to say, okay, screw it. You know, if, if you want the streets, have the streets. You don't want to heal, then oh well, you know. For you to put yourself first and not pursue this person, 
this kind of sent this person into a um this was like a, a spiritual shock to this person because they get off on people overly pursuing them overdoing things for them over being there for them like just doing too much to prove themselves to this person you're an earth angel you're not going to do that because you know who you are you're going to give love from a pure space because you were designed that way but once once god tell you to pull back you're going to pull back and that's it this person doesn't like, they think that they're in control. They're not in control. God is in control. You are literally allowing God to order your steps. And this is why this person cannot, I'm going to say it, they can't defeat you. Either they're going to like, what they say, you, you can't beat them, join them. And I just feel like this person is going to join you because they could not defeat you. They could not make you bow to them. They could not make you, you know, submit to them. They couldn't know you submit to God. You don't submit to no man. You submit to God. You see what I'm saying? And this person wanted you to submit to them. They wanted you to cut your wings off and submit to a human. And, and, and you decided not to do that. So this person went towards a fake lover. Yeah, they went towards a fake lover. They, they gave into temptation and went towards a fake lover. This person may be overdoing it like with drugs or alcohol, trying to suppress their feelings and their emotions for you. But just be expecting some type of call. A message from this person okay income and call a message this person may block their number call you from an unknown number wow yeah they're not gonna let you go they're gonna try to come in they may try to love bomb you you're gonna have to use your discernment to try to figure out you know is this person truly ready are they not or are they just feeling the energetic distance you know what what is this person's mindset what are, what is it you know what are their intentions is it safe to move forward with this person or not but they're going to be contacting you you don't humble this person you can show them you know you're not going to chase them you you have um self-love you love yourself way too much to allow this person to drag you through it to take you through it to prove yourself to them you know no it's not going like that you, you prove yourself to god and that's it you know, they've never had anybody to not be codependent upon them. Look at this. You coming out as the sun. You're just like little Miss Ray of Sunshine, right? Or Mr. Sunshine. You you bring happiness and light to this person's life. And they didn't realize this until you were gone, Collective. You are the truth. You are very open with this person. And this person is surrounding themselves with so many fake energies that they didn't realize that you were the truth until you were gone. You brought good luck and fortune into this person's life simply by existing in this person's life. All right, give me one more before I wrap this reading up. Whoop, look at this, missed opportunity. And this is why you are a missed opportunity to this person. That is the humbling part. Okay, having everything, literally having everything and losing everything. You represent everything to this person and they lost that. And this is why this person is feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Like their dreams are shattered because you chose yourself first and you walked away. You know, look at this, arrogant and reckless. This person was very arrogant. And like I'm telling you guys, most high sent you guys to be a very humbling experience for this person collective. Okay, being in the presence of an angel, mistreating a an angel and losing a an angel is humbling. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what you know. All right. I love you guys to life. Peace.